Hey, what's going on guys? So welcome back to another Python tutorial. So in this video, we will be looking into the nested while loop statements and then we also will be looking into the break statements. So nested while loops are while loops inside another while loop. So basically, uh, it's exactly the same as we did in case of the for loops. So I wasn't going to make this video, but I realized that since I made one for the for loops, so i should make one for while loop so yeah without any further ado let's get started so the basic format would be you write a while and then you have these dotted lines which would be the condition in this case and then inside of it you have while loop you can have more than one or you can also have this while loop and then one more while loop inside of it. So it does not really matter. It just depends on your need. So if you need to use this, so you just add and if you don't, you don't. So yeah, so this is basically the structure of the while loop. So in this dotted section, we just write the condition. And then for each time this big while loop runs, this while loop would run until this condition goes false. So let's do something. So let's say we have an iterator i equal to zero. So this iterator would be valid for this for loop. So let's say i is less than five. So basically we want to run it five times. And then here, let's say a is less than three. So we need to define a. So we need to add this a equal to zero inside this and then just above this while loop or else it's not gonna work i mean it's it will work but it's gonna run only once so and then what we want to do let's say we want to print saying hello world yeah and then let's increment our a so the reason it wouldn't have run because if this would have been outside this big loop, what would have happened every time this loop runs, when this goes to check whether it's true or false, every time it's gonna show false because A, if this runs one time, then A will be incremented to three. And then when A is three, so this would return false. And then the value that A would have would always be three so it's never gonna go false so that's the reason we have a equal to zero just outside this so that for each time this loop runs this a gets back its value to zero and then and then this loop can run so yeah now now let's uh increase our i yeah they should probably do so now what's gonna happen this loop would now run so for each time this big loop runs this small loop would run three times so if this runs five times this is going to run 15 times so this should print hello world 15 times so there we have hello world 15 times so that's how we use nested while loops so now let's check the break statement now let's say we have a while loop let's define our i i is equal to zero equal to zero and then we want to print mm, let's say we want to print i and then let's increment our value by one now what this should do this should print i from zero through four you see now if i just add here break what it's gonna do as soon as it sees this break statement the loop would immediately just break out and then it would end so we just have zero because when this runs for the first time i only has a value of zero so it prints a zero and then i gets incremented by one and then the loop breaks 
so that's how you use the break statement and that's it for the nested while loop so in the next video we will start with function and then things will be more interesting from then so yeah if you are new to the channel please subscribe if you haven't and yeah if you like the video please like and that's it for this video meet you guys in the next video